special effects, stacked timelines, rocking music, it's all happening in my new KineMaster tutorial for iOS and Android. If you want vertical video editing and awesome effects, graphics and overlays, well in my opinion I think KineMaster is the best tool for editing on your smartphone. It's like having a little editing studio in your pocket. So let's jump in right now and see how I created this awesome commercial for my friends over at Heart of Thai. So this first clip is an establishing shot of the store, but it'll be published to Facebook so I thought this cool social media effect would be great to add a little extra interest. No Photoshop, no After Effects, just click into the clip, select Clip Graphic and here under Social Likes you have all these cool options to choose from. This is of course one of the premium overlays for the KineMaster app for paid subscribers and you can find it in the KineMaster store right here. Next we have Beck, our beautiful model for the shoot dancing up a storm and after all these little cuts in these shots we have a rather a nice effect on her shoes. I think without the effect, well they look a little plain, what do you think? So once again I've searched through the premium clip graphics in the KineMaster Asset Store and I don't think I could have made something better than this from scratch even if I had the skills and the time to do so. So let's reapply that effect to our clip. Select the clip, select Clip Graphic, scroll down and click Thank You. Then choose the effect you like the best. I love how these colours match the shoes perfectly. This next bit's quite fun and I'm sure you'll have seen a variant of this idea before. That is, your model jumps into the air and with a little bit of a flourish of her arms, as if by magic she somehow changes her outfits before she lands. So to get this effect that we're after with the changing of clothes, all you need is some kind of a phone and a tripod to hold it steady. So I'm going to get this all set up and then we're going to go ahead and make the transition. Once you have your tripod in the right position, place some tape or note a mark on the floor where your model should stand each time they return in a new outfit. This way we can be sure they're in the same position on camera each time and we'll be able to cut our effect together very convincingly. After a quick clothing change, have your model check the camera with you so they can be sure how they move their arms and they can repeat that action. Keep that eye contact going, that's it, that's nice and beautiful. And then click your fingers. So if they jump like this, have them repeat that same action and that way you'll be able to cut everything together beautifully. Back in the edit, we have our two clips we want to blend. For the first clip, let's select the frame around here with Beck's arms covering her body. Select the clip, select the scissors, select trim to right of playhead. On the second clip we're going to select a frame with Beck's arms in a very similar position. Once again select the scissors and trim to the left of the playhead. Let's play that through to see how it looks. Something optional you can try is to select the second clip then click onto the speed icon and now we can actually slow the footage down just a little bit which I think looks great. Let's watch it through. One of KineMaster's big strengths is how easily it allows you to edit vertical footage and it's also powerful enough to handle multiple timelines on newer devices. My first generation iPad Pro has no problem processing three lines of video which lets me stack multiple shots for a collage that holds interest and delivers some nice detail. I achieved these white lines here by selecting Layer media and down the bottom right hand side here click photo. From here we can choose background and select white for our colour. Drag up the size to full width then click crop and drag the handles down until you have a white line the thickness you desire. Now just drag it in a place you can click these three dots to duplicate the layer to create an identical white line and you're done. 
I applied that same stacked layer trick here to showcase some of the other items in the shop all at once. And then we have this variation of the clip graphic I used on the shoes, but with a different color. To have somebody disappear from frame when you've got a locked off camera is actually really easy. All you have to do is have them snap their fingers, wiggle their nose and then walk off. When you edit that footage all you have to do is cut on the snap. And by the way, this is cool, did you know you can extend or shorten a clip graphic like this? We will apply our edit here, a mouth pop completes the illusion. This final section of the video has white lines too, but I approach this a little differently. This time I generated a white background by selecting Media, Photos, Background, and now we have a nice white background showing through the gap between our two layers. Last thing, I already added some music, but I wanted to remind you how to do that. There are two ways you can add music to your KineMaster project. One, click on the sound symbol in the store and select from loads of tracks available to free or premium subscribers. Or access your own music via Google Drive. Click the little dots beside the track and click Open In and now select Copy to KineMaster. Now click the audio button, click the internal folder, select the track, hit the plus symbol and add it to your own project. We're about to watch the finished video all the way through. But before we do, how about you show me some love? If you enjoyed this tutorial, hit that sub button. I'm Paddy McCann. Until next time, happy editing. I'm gonna chase it, and I'm gonna chase it. I know we can't be gone.